Hello everyone, Colin Cadet here for Woodwork Web. Today we've got something special for you. We're visiting historic Fort Steele in Western Canada. And we understand that there's a number of buildings and some furniture that you'll all want to see. So join us on this journey today. Here we are in front of an 1887 hospital. Uh, this was a, a hospital created for the Northwest Mounted Police. And this is an original building, and you can see how the logs have weathered and aged. In a moment, we're going to have a look at some of the furniture that they used in this original building. In the 1880s, you couldn't run to the hardware store to get doorknobs, so you had to learn how to improvise. Here we are in a church from the late 1800s, early 1900s, uh, and you can see all of the, the work and all of the workmanship that they've taken to put into this. And if you have a look at the piano over here, you can see the kind of craftsmanship that was typical of that era. The pews are original to the church as well. And you can see that they're, they've been well used. The construction is a fir, which is a little bit stronger wood than some of the local pine here. So again, this wood had to be imported from another locale. A wonderful finish on these and a wonderful original finish. Um, very sturdy and very functional. Here we have a deacon's bench. Uh, probably from the late 1800s, early 1900s. It uh, looks like to, it's constructed out of fur, so it would have been imported from another area and brought into the location. Very well constructed, still very sturdy after well over 100 years. We're in a reconstructed government house, and there's a small hall here with a number of chairs and these chairs would be from the late 1800s uh, and the early 1900s as well and if you can see the detail on these it's absolutely fantastic all of the turning on all of these chairs uh, is just remarkable and it looks like they all have an original finish too all of the carving this has all been hand carved on all of these chairs this is a, a, a remarkable set of chairs uh, from around 100 years ago. This is actually a reconstruction of a water wheel that was located about 25 miles west of here. This water wheel develops a whopping 68 horsepower and each of the buckets hold about 60 gallons of water. You can tell by the construction that this is all beam and there's some very interesting joints which we'll highlight in a moment.
This is a school room and you can see all of the school desks. These are actually oak desks. Oak is not common to this locale so all of these desks would have been brought in from uh, Eastern North America, uh, Eastern Canada or Eastern US. This is an oak uh, hall stand uh, with a little uh, little box uh, built into it. Obviously with uh, coat and hat racks and a little mirror. Again, it's all made out of oak. It looks like all original finish on this. Uh, a little bit of carving in here or a little bit of um, crafting. Uh, very well made, nicely put together. Uh, a lovely, lovely piece. Here's an example of a lovely staircase, a lot of craftsmanship built into this uh, and all built out of local wood so somebody would have had a pretty big lathe to turn these spindles uh, and all of the components that go into making this staircase. Well, we found that the treasure in Fort Steele and that comes in the, the form of some replica stickly furniture and this replica stickly furniture is very old in fact it may even be stickly furniture we can't tell because we don't have the uh, ability to, to turn it upside down and examine it but uh, this, is, uh, this is wonderful furniture to find in a place like this This is another reclining type chair, and I must confess, I don't know what kind of uh, chair this is called. I've not seen anything like this before, uh, but this is another beautiful old oak chair uh, of the Craftsman period, and you can tell just by looking at it that it has the original finish, uh, probably the original uh, um, covers, and uh, all of this uh, chair is just a remarkable find. Uh, in this Fort Steele Museum. Okay. This is a Scandinavian design house um, built about uh, 75 years ago. Uh, you can tell by all of the dovetailing. Uh, what's unique about this house is it was actually unconstructed and reconstructed on this site.